Hi, Noah. How are you? Colin O'Brady, good morning. How are you? <laughs> I'm wonderful. Great to be here. All right, Colin. Well, let's go ahead and jump into our interview this morning. Let me kind of just share a little background story to our audience that's watching so they can uh, know more about you if they don't already. But, you know, you suffered a tragic accident in 2008 where you were severely burned in a fire. You know, your injuries cover nearly 25% of your body, primarily damaging your legs and feet. You know, doctors, they even warned you that you might never walk normally again. But you won your first triathlon 18 months after the accident, and you're a 10-time world record holder. So now you're hosting, you know, this incredible new series, Survivorless. Tell us about the storyline of the show, my friend. Yeah, you know, it's been a crazy personal journey for me. Like you said, being burned this fire many years ago, told I would never walk again normally, but really kind of took the recovery so seriously that I wanted to push my own limits and have gone on to set 10 world records, as you said, all over the world and the world of expeditioning and outdoors, um, which is why it's so fun now to be hosting survivalists on BYU TV, um, where I host a show where families come into the outdoors, they compete against each other in a you know week-long mini expedition uh, to test their own limits and ultimately claim a cash prize. And we will see, you know, two everyday families put away technology and embark on a three-day survival immersion course into the wild to reconnect and repair their relationships. But Colin, how hard is it for them to put away their mobile devices and just live in the moment because everyone is always capturing things through their phones, taking photos, videos. They never really actually just, you know, live in the moment and see it with their own eyes. They always see it through a camera lens. Yeah, look, you know, uh, I think we all know that feeling. I'm guilty of it myself, of, you know, being on phones and devices and whatnot. But what I've learned from my own expeditions in the backcountry is uh, how much you can learn about yourself and particularly being out there with a family like these families are, how much they can learn about each other, bond, grow, uh, overcome obstacles together. So uh, it's a challenge to set those devices aside. But uh, at the end of the week, yeah, even the families that don't come out on top, they say to me, wow, that was an adventure of a lifetime. Thank you so much. We've bonded. We've overcome so much that we're going to take back into our daily lives. Now, Colin, one of the families, they're going to walk away with a grand prize. How much money will they win? It's $10,000 cash, so uh, it, it's fun. You know, the, the kids on the show are usually between age 10 and 18, and, uh, and then, of course, their parents. Um, so it's exciting for them. You know, it's enough to keep them going. It's a big cash prize, but uh, like I said, you know, maybe even the bigger prize is just the adventure and the experience they get to have out there um, and what comes uh, to pass and the life experience that they're having as a family. Yeah, I'm definitely excited. I cannot wait to watch on BYU TV. And uh, two, I think that we need to see something like this on TV today because, you know, our world is, you know, so sad and everyone just has been really going through such a rough year. And this is maybe is something that can inspire and uplift and, you know, um, all of our souls when we watch, you know, this season on BYU TV. Uh, lastly, Colin, I do want to ask you, you know, what do you really hope the audiences are going to take away when they watch um, this season of the show? Well, what's so great about BYU TV is, first of all, it's free for anyone. You can get download the app for free. There's no subscription required, so really it's accessible to everyone. Um, and it's really an amazing show that I think you can sit down, you can watch with your family, you can have conversations. And uh, you know, even if you're not a contestant on the show, hopefully as a family you have kids, it inspires you you know, to get outside, have maybe a mini adventure, have an experience with your family where you can bond. Just like you said, you know, we are uh, living in a, a really challenging year, some divisive times, and this show is really about coming together um, and the wholesome, amazing things we can do together when we come together, have shared experiences and really lean into the love and positivity that is within all of us.